That big boat, the Crystal, it's been rotting at the dock for years. I can't understand why that gutless oboe keeps trying to maintain his rotten old tub. Believe me, it's a really good thing that the Nomads can't just come and go around Valsambor as they please anymore. Usually the Yukols only stick around for a few days or so. Something must be keeping them here this time. Things are heating up for Mayor Bulyakin. It's been too long since there was any sort of change in the town hall. My squid is absolutely fresh, miss. Listen, miss, it's fresh. Are you okay, sir? One more step and you were in the drink. I-E-N-O. <laughs> Pardon? It's me, Captain Obo. Obo! Proud commander of the... Uh, just this proud crystal. So don't you, sir, me. Well, delighted. Captain, I'm Kate Walker. I'm looking for Steiners, the clockmaker. If I fall in the water, Taylor, you'll be to go straight to hell. So don't... Don't fall in the water, Sail, you understand? Bastard's waiting for me. Who are you talking about? The monster of the lake is waiting for us all, miss. Ev everyone's time comes eventually. To finish the work! Come on, back in the fight. Because you can never lower your guard. Never. I'd rather be left here on my own, if you don't mind, miss. I'm sorry, but I'm really not in the mood. I hope you find the tavern agreeable, miss. Vlad the boss does whatever it takes to keep the place cozy. With everything going on, that's not bad. That's the nice man who helped me leave the Yugo camp. I should go thank him. Ah, miss, delighted to see that you finally managed to leave the Yukol camp. Yes, thank you very much for the pass. Well, now that you're at last here, you'll be able to taste my famous borscht. It would be my pleasure, but I do have to find Steiner the Clockmaker right away. Simon Steiner? Ah, in that case you should speak with Sarah, our young waitress. She's his granddaughter. Is Simon Steiner well-known here in Valsambur? For a long time, he was rather popular. You know, he isn't just a clockmaker. He knows everything about mechanical objects. He repaired everything for everybody here in Valsambur. He also designed the amusement park on the other side of the lake with a colleague of his. A French automaton creator, if I remember right. You could say, Valsambur owes a lot to Simon Steiner, miss. So when he got sick, I offered to hire Sarah to help a little. You understand? I met that man recently. A certain Captain Oboe. He doesn't seem very with it. 
And he's been that way for 20 years, miss. 20 years. Can you imagine? He used to command the Crystal, the boat that made the crossing between here and the amusement park on the other side of the lake. And he wasn't the same man then. How are things in town? They don't seem to be going that well. If you ask me, the atmosphere is horrible. At least half the people don't want the U-Calls right at our door. Most of the shopkeepers even made the decision to go on strike over what they saw as unfair competition. Also, Valsambor hasn't been the same in the last 20 years. There it is. I'm off. Thank you again for your help. See you soon, miss. <laughs> Captain Oboe's got it real bad today. Poor old bastard. All those youngsters trying to act smart to impress the Steiner girl. It really gets to me. I'd really suggest you steer well clear of Captain Oboe, miss. He's always basically drunk as a skunk. The crystal! Take a cross. More travelers ever than any other ferry from Balsamore. That shape there in the water, what is it? <laughs> it's been hard to sell our produce since the port closed. And now those nomads show up and undercut us. The Yukels have been cutting their prices. If it continues, we'll have to sell at a loss. There's something about those nomads at our doors they're not telling us. They can deny everything they want, but regardless, the truth is out there. You mark my words. Lost your way, pretty girl? If you need someone to follow you around town, just ask. Lost your way, pretty girl? Steiner! Hello. Are you Mr. Steiner? Mm. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Steiner. My name is Kate Walker, and I've come to pick up the prosthesis for Kirk, the Yukel spiritual guide. And well, dear Miss Walker, Dr. Efimova has informed me that the young man was not yet in any sort of condition to withstand the operation, and that... Mr. Steiner? Are you all right? It... It is impossible. That pendant you have around your neck. I would be very obliged if you would entrust me with it for a moment. Please, Miss Walker. Mein Gott! An XZ-2000 automaton heart in perfect working condition! A compensating spring memory! Pendulum ventricles and small mechanical pumps! Everything seems in excellent condition! Donnerwetter! Where on earth did you steal this, Miss Walker? What? Are you calling me a thief, Mr. Steiner? I haven't stolen anything from anyone. This is all I have left of my friend Oscar. Give it back to me right now! Ah, so. And yet I am actually very familiar with this type of precision mechanism. An infernal precision. Incredible, unique expertise. For this was a Varlberg automaton, Miss Walker. 
Yes. It was Hans Vorlberg who designed this object. Tell me, did you know him? Oh, yeah. He even lived here a few years. We did a lot of work together. He taught me so many different things, you know. So it is useless to try and make up silly stories, Miss Walker. And I am afraid that I am not about to allow you to leave here as long as you have not told me the truth about where this object comes from. Mr. Steiner, Oscar was a very special automaton. He inspired almost human emotions. But today he doesn't exist. He isn't dead, of course. Because what has never lived cannot die. Oscar was just dismantled. It had to be like that. All that I have left of him is that heart, a heart made of metal. It's far more than just a heart, miss. It's far more like a kind of mechanical hard drive. A computer that is full of cogs, gears, and springs, but... <sighs> Mr. Steiner, are you all right? My heart... need... my medication... quickly! Just don't move. I'll go and get your medication right away. No medication in sight. A prescription? Could store medication in this mess. Still nothing. Who would store medication in this mess? An old press clipping. A woman's writing saying, Grandfather, don't forget to take your medication three hours before dinner. Kirk's prosthesis, but it looks like it isn't finished. All that clattering must get really tiring after a while.
My heart. I need my medication. <sighs> Quickly. <sighs> Thank you for your precious help, my dearest Miss Walker. I'm afraid I may have judged you somewhat hastily. Don't mention it, Mr. Steiner. Tell me about the prosthesis. I need to take it back to Kirk very quickly, if, of course, you agree to let me have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have a few small adjustments to make. It involves very precise and meticulous mechanics, understand? Will it take long? I'm sorry to insist, but I also have to give a hand to those unfortunate Yukels. I need to help them get across the lake with their herd of ostriches. I'm so worried about them. Once the mechanical leg is at last ready, I can go to the clinic and bring back young Kirk to you. That way you only have to worry about what happens to the other Yukols. That's so nice of you, Mr. Steiner. But why are you doing this? Ah, uh, I wasn't extremely nice to you earlier. And also, the way the Yukols are treated by the other townsfolk, here, in my own town, disgusts me. So I want to help those poor devils, even if I am in no way absolutely certain they should be crossing the lake. What on earth's the matter, Mr. Steiner? The next stage of your journey is the poor, cursed town of Baranor. It has become hell on earth since the time of the last great ostrich migration. Please join me downstairs for a moment, Miss Walker. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Look just next to the films there, Miss Walker. You should find a film on Baranor. The film's missing. Tools that would have suited Hans. When you found the old film reel, run it through the spool on the projector. Magnificent pieces, Nishtvar, 
The XZ-2000 model is most assuredly one of Hans's major masterpieces. 